So my name is Haramjit Kumar. I work in an island called Majuli Island, which is an incredibly beautiful island. Majuli Island is surrounded by two mighty rivers, Brahmaputra from one side and Swansea from the other. This island is a home to a population of about 160,000 plus, mostly belonging to a tribe called Mesin tribe. Probably it's the newest island in, in the country. So Majuli is a beautiful story for life, but it's also a story about life struggling between floods and erosion. It is in this struggle somewhere we are trying to work in the area of school education. The village in which we work is a flood of flood prone area. Every year floods it brings about huge destruction. So we are trying to raise a building of the school which could be a flood resilient. None of the school in the surrounding, in all the major public schools is all like uh, normal construction, so which is not really flood resilient. Then the other focus is to bring the culture, bring the uh, the context, the knowledge from the community into the curriculum and pedagogy. It has been one of our learnings that teaching through the using local resources, some of the using some of the practices to teach concept to the students is helps in somehow facilitating the learning. So our focus into the is in the local culture and uh, the local resources available. It starts from the time when I decided to do this master's in development from Azim Premji University. Before that I had a bachelor's in economics and uh, somehow there was some uh, interest hidden inside to contribute to work in the social sector brought me here. The two year of this course was a journey of incredible transformation. I mean it's tough to explain you know, how you go through this journey something like you have to experience it you know, to understand what exactly happens in such kind of uh, you know, exploration you take ahead to your course. It actually allowed me to engage with some of the difficult questions, some of the analysis that I never thought about doing it before. And what I'm doing it now, probably I never thought that I will be in such kind of field. So. Apart from all the concepts and all the theories that is a part of the course, the major thing which I felt is kind of the self-introspection, trying to analyze that how you find yourself in the larger, larger era of development, how as an individual you are a part of it. It's right to the, the entire course help you to get that vision and get that bigger picture happening around. And then it gives you the the certain kind of which helps you to develop some kind of perspective about the entire process happening around you. So all this transformation, what ends you up with is kind of excitement that you want to go to the field. After the course, I got this opportunity called the AFK Fellowship. It's a part of American Indian Foundation program. Through that fellowship, I was placed in the island called Majuli Island. It was a 10 months fellowship, I was supposed to develop a sustainable livelihood model for the flood affected communities living in Majuli. So towards the end of the fellowship, I decided to be back, to remain back at the place. And uh, along with few other friends who were trying to work in different areas of uh, Majuli, we sat together and started this organization called IAM. So IAM has a focus on education, livelihoods, and larger community empowerment. The journey of Ayang is just two year old. We started with a school with 110 children and now school in the second year has about 40 children. We are trying to develop this school as a model school. Model school in the sense that it could be something reflecting to the context, to the culture around. And uh, we also work with few other government schools and local primary schools. How you want to take it further is you want to try to develop this as a, as a model school in terms of standing up with the local culture and the customs local culture and the traditional uh, knowledge around. And then we also want to work with the government schools. Our idea is to work with the cluster level on, uh, the cluster level of the school system. And uh, on the larger program, the larger picture of the whole school transformation, we want to transform like one school in the cluster, which could be a support system for the school setup. So that's on education. In library, what we are trying to set up uh, a, a farmers and an artisans cooperative it could be self-sustained and uh, could help the, uh, the, the, the communities around to have a source of income.